hello friends and family. <laughs> oh, that was really ugly. <laughs> We're at Stansted and I'm eating a muffin. Um, and, oh frick, where's the red one? Oh, it's underneath. Um, our flight leaves in like 40 minutes. What? Here's some problems. It's like 8 a.m. and we're all way of life go. Um, they're all laughing. Why they're laughing? Anyway, we have show six tonight. It's round five for him on her last show, but we still have Dublin and then San Jose and LA. Also, lane one people, if you're watching this, add more San Jose pit. Um, but yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna text Danny. Hi, Danny. Um, there's a number I still don't have when we get there. I see what the queue's like. Oh, but we're supposed to have lunch with Allie. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. There's probably gonna be too many people for us to queue anyway. But, yeah, so. I feel like if there's less than like 50. Yeah. My arm's falling asleep, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this now. But, oh, the lighting right here is really good. Anyway, there's Stan sitting. Like down there and they're staring at us as we all showed up in our hairy shirts. Um, so, yeah. So we're in an Uber, uh, and I'm like sweating because we literally got off the got off the flight, and Danny was like, "Grace, there's 33 people in your pod," and I was like, "Frick!" And I like we literally like sprinted through the airport, like fully like high speed sprinting, and like get up here, get in an Uber, and we're gonna be there soon. Um, and we're not really gonna be doing any sightseeing, so we're just kind of looking out the Uber window. So that's great. And my mom was like, "Grace, are you gonna get right in line?" And I was like, mm, "Don't know yet." Yes, yes, I am, Shelly if you're watching this. Love you. Um, but please don't watch this because I don't want you to know any of this stuff. Is she gonna watch this? No, she doesn't know I did the Stockholm one. I don't think. Wait, she doesn't know you did the Stockholm show? The vlog. Uh, I don't really want her to watch it. I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, we're here. How are we feeling? This is like head ass reader's finest. Kira, Kira filmed it, so I'll put that in. Hello. Um, Hind and I, wow, my hair. Just came back to the hotel to check in and like get ready and stuff. And now we're going back to the venue. Yes. And it's a mess. It's a mess. Okay, it's not a mess because of like, it's just, the, the, this is gonna sound really bad. The Scottish locals who like are after number like 30, 30 to like 40, don't wanna be numbered. Um, and so, which is really unfair. So we're stuck behind people who don't want to be numbered. And they are like, we're not gonna follow the number system. So up until 30, it's fine. And then like, we're like 45 maybe. They're like, just not not wanting to follow the number system. That's not it. Um, and it's gonna be a mess, but I mean, it's fine. We're just here to be here, so we'll have fun. Hi, uh, we're Barrier Gun, just like, surprise, surprise. No, it actually is kind of because we got here at like 11 a.m. We really weren't expecting that, but um, yeah, we're just here chilling. Mabel's on in what? 37 minutes. Um, and Harry's on in an hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> Sophie! 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 You said it was Beth! Sophie! Is it Beth or Sophie? Sophie! Beth! Sophie! Sophie! I've heard from Beth's mouth that it's Beth. It's Sophie! Beth. Who's Sophie? Not her! One! It's Beth. Mate. It's Sophie! One, two, three! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Beth Sophie! 
and we're gonna eat it. But um, the show is really great. Kira and I argued with Harry. With who? Sophie. Her name's Sophie. Whoever's Sophie. watching this, her name is Sophie. Her name is Sophie Hind. Her name was Sophie. Even it was so, we were like, Sophie! Um, he's just freaking deaf. And yeah, we go back to London tomorrow morning. And then, or tomorrow afternoon really. And then we leave. Monday morning for Dublin. And then it's all work until July. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good tonight. Tonight was like tied possibly for my second fave. Also, I completely forgot to vlog this morning when we were on our way back from Glasgow. But we are home and it's like 6.30 p.m. Um, yeah, 6.30 exactly. Lydia, Gracie, and Cornelia are staying over tonight here because our flight, we have to get the bus at like 7.30 tomorrow morning to go back to Stansted um, and go to Dublin. Um, but yeah, my voice is shot. I need to check on my pasta. Um, like tomorrow's gonna be super bittersweet because like it's gonna be great, obviously, because it's a hairy show. Sorry, I'm like trying to cook my pasta. Um, I'm vlogging, Kira. I'm not just talking to myself. No. Um, but... It's also gonna be sad because like it's our last one until July. Good morning, friends and family. <laughs> um, we're waiting for the bus to go to, ooh, that natural golden light. Oh, that's actually good. I know. Yeah. Um, we're waiting for the bus to go to Stansted to go to Dublin. And it's the last show for now. Um, yeah, but we've got July. So, it won't be that bad, but yeah. So yeah, we're just waiting. Um, it's early. It's not as early as it was Saturday, but it's early. <sighs> hey vlog, so our bus was really late um, for a few reasons. Um, and then we got here and we ran. I got stopped at security, but Lydia, Gracie, and Kira didn't. So they all made it on the flight and I didn't. I like had to wait for my bag. I didn't even have a bag, I just had like a tote bag. Um, at security for like, I don't know, 25 minutes. And they all thought I was on the flight. So then I called them when I was running to the gate and they were like, oh, you're not on the flight. And I was like, no. And by the time I got there, um, it had gone, like they'd closed the doors and the, like were lifting up the uh, stairs and stuff so I didn't make it. Um, and then I had a panic attack, so that's always fun. And then I had to go to customer service and a guy yelled at me for being on my phone calling Char because I was having a panic attack. And then I got booked onto the one at like 140, 150 or something that gets there at 3 as opposed to the one that gets there at like... The one that I was supposed to get that gets there like 11.30. So now I'm trying to find Pret. Um, I'm gonna sit, because I have like two hours, three hours. And I'm gonna, I have three hours. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna eat. And I don't know, do something. But I had to pay for my flight. And I had a panic attack and it wasn't fun. But you know, life's life.
Ow, my hair. And my makeup is all down because I'm crying. Um, hi. It's like past midnight and we're about to get off the bus and go to crash in Ellie's hotel for a bit. And then we have to get up at four. And go to the hotel at four. And check in. And not miss our flight. Not miss our flight. Did you vlog like, when you missed the flight? Yeah, a bit. It wasn't very positive though. It was kind of me in midst of like post mental breakdown. Um, wow, my eyebrows look good. The rest of my face doesn't. Um, and yeah, I'll probably do something tomorrow morning when I get home and like I have a brain. But the show was very good. The show was good. Yeah. Um, he brought back the kiwi jumpsuit. If you know what I'm talking about, the Kiwi jumpsuit. Um, the green one. Oh, frick, my back. And. Mind my crisps. You're the one with my back. The big happy. And. Yeah. I don't know. It's over until July. And now we have to go back to like real stuff. Um, which isn't really that great. But. Yeah, I need to... Wow, okay. Ending this right now because we're about to get off the bus. Goodbye, friends and Goodbye, family. friends and family. I will do something, add something tomorrow. Oh, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> we're on our way to the airport to go home. That's literally it. That's all I can manage. I thought I'd end this vlog now because I look slightly decent and I don't know when the next time that um, will be. So I'm actually on my way. We got back this morning from Dublin and I'm on my way to a job interview. But I thought, I don't know if you can hear any of this, it's so windy. Um, I just wanted to say, um, like, finish up the vlogs for this tour and say that this tour changed my life like there's no doubt in my mind that this story changed my life and I think it's to do with the people that I spent it with and I love my friends like I look forward to tour so much because I know that I'm going to be spending like a week maybe more at a time with people that I love and you all know who you are if you're watching this and I love you guys so much and Thank you for the best week and thank you Harry for making it all possible because I wouldn't know you guys without him um, And it's just been the best 10 consecutive days of my life um, traveling and being with my favorite people and seeing my favorite person and um, Yeah, I just want to say I'm super grateful for it. like I don't want it to come across in any of these um, vlogs as though I'm like bragging or anything that I'm doing bunch of shows I just genuinely like love doing it and I thought I'd take people along because I don't know I like doing Stockholm but yeah um thanks for watching I guess and I'll probably vlog LA I definitely will vlog LA so that'll be better and I'll have a better phone so yeah but I'm about to get the tube so I'm gonna go but thank you European tour of 2018 Harry Styles live on tour you were life-changing <laughs>